Hey, what is going on you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape and welcome to a brand new loot video for you all today. Today I bring you guys loot from 30 hours of Guardians of the Rift. The goal for today's video is to obtain the full set of runecrafting clothes, plus make as much profit as possible, and if I'm lucky enough, hopefully I can obtain the pet. Starting at about 21.4 million runecrafting XP, we will see what we have at the end of the 30 hours grind but before we get started into today's video we do have some quick words from our incredible sponsor today raycon raycon is premium audio at the perfect price point so you can build great habits without breaking the bank whether you're looking for a pair of everyday earbuds low latency gaming headphones or a speaker with a battery that will last all night at your next party raycon's got you covered and yep raycon start at half the price of other premium audio brands Personally, some of my favorite things about Raycon earbuds is that they are water and sweat resistant. So when I use them for going on walks, even on the most humid days, I don't have to worry about any sweat getting in the way. I also love that the custom gel tips are perfect for being the most comfortable for my ears, which I really did struggle with in the past. And whether you want to relax and listen to a podcast or travel outdoors for miles, Raycon earbuds are the perfect fit. Ready to buy something small with a big impact? Click the link in the description box or go to buyraycon.com slash Mr. No Sleep to get 15% off your Raycon purchase. And feel free to check out all the variety of color options. Unlike other brands, Raycons come in a wide variety of colors featuring carbon black, electric blue, flare red, and rose gold. My personal favorite being carbon black. And remember, by ordering Raycon, you will not only be benefiting the channel for years to come, but you will be benefiting your ears for years to come. So what are you waiting for? Go to buyraycon.com slash Mr. No Sleep for 15% off your order. And a huge thank you to Raycon for sponsoring today's video. And just a last reminder, clicking that link in the description below definitely helps out the channel a lot. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and get into today's video. 30 hours of Guardians of the Rift. And here we are with a batch of 56 rolls. Uh, I was on average opening every 50 to 100, which most of this video, all the content is me just opening up these uh, searches, you know, the rewards that you can get in the Rift. Definitely got a lot of runes, and I'll make sure to price check the overall amount that I runecrafted, and of course add on, on top of that, all of the runes that I received just from the searches, and we'll see how much money I make in 30 hours time. This was a long-term project, took me about uh, I'd say five days to do this one. Alongside that, I was doing the Moss Giant video on the Iron Man. Recently, did go out of town for a little bit so I just got back and uh, the videos are looking awesome I was uh, able to grind the new Vedion boss the lower level one I believe he goes by the name of Calvarion and I was able to do about 16 hours yesterday of that boss non-stop as well as anti PKing, and it's some of the most fun I've had in a long time very similar to Revenants which I really do enjoy so just to update you guys uh, I have about I'd say 300 kills left or so and you guys should see that video in a few few days very proud of it and i know you guys are gonna love it so that is just the start of um the wilderness boss grind for the rest of this month this uh video 30 hours of guardians of the rift i really just kind of ran out of ideas before the wilderness rework came into the game i wanted to do something that would benefit me uh, you know i guess you could say further down the line and i know that i wanted to do some rune crafting related videos uh just some simple 10 hour videos of wrath runes and death runes maybe another uh rune if it's worth it uh, so I knew that I needed the full set. So that kind of gave me the motivation to make one more Guardian of the Rift video, which is what you're seeing here. And hopefully I can make some decent profit from this as well. Um, you know, people always ask me what are my favorite things to do in game. And I would say definitely as of right now, it's uh, anything in the wilderness. But uh, no doubt about it, Guardians of the Rift is definitely top three. Just something about it. I think it's a brilliant uh, mini game. Great way to get some runecrafting XP and uh, just a great way to get some runes. I mean, I think think the only downside is that the uh, price of all the runes has gone down so much and I don't ever see that going back up again. But the trade-off is when I do acquire the full set of rune crafting clothing, I can make as much runes as possible, uh, therefore making more runes than ever before, uh, you know, since this update came out. And maybe rune crafting is still viable, but I'll definitely be finding that out in the coming weeks since obviously uh, in this video I was definitely able to acquire the full set because it doesn't take, you know, much longer than 30 hours hours 
even if uh, 30 hours is necessary. So yeah, it was uh, quite the grind, but I really did enjoy it. Very laid back mini game. I was just doing on average about 50 catalytic and then uh, 50 elemental. Uh, I would do, of course, uh, combination runes with um, earth and water runes. I don't think I ever switched it up from those. And this would get me uh, steam runes as well as mud runes, which are decent price right now compared to all the other elemental runes. So definitely helped out with the profit. I did also save all of my intricate pouches for the very end of the video. So I'll be stacking those up and opening them all up once I do the price check of all the runes that I do create and uh, I get from the searching. Rune crafting is a very special skill to me. Uh, I remember when I was going for a max cape in this game, and I think it was about 2015, I told myself that if I can pull off 99 rune crafting, then I can pull off any 99 out there. And I still stand by that statement today. You know, this was back when I just did nature runes uh, in the abyss, which was uh, starting at 44. I believe I have the screenshot somewhere of me getting 44 rune crafting on this account. And I essentially never left. Uh, I was never interested in astral runes. Um, blood runes, I don't think were a thing until a couple months after I got 99. So I really just stuck with nature runes the whole grind. And this was actually one of the first ways that I made money on old school runescape was actually finishing 99 rune crafting and having over 300 mil from it. And that was back when 300 mil could pretty much get you all buyables, which is the exact thing I did after obtaining 99 rune crafting through nature runes. So that's kind of why I've always had a decent amount of rune crafting XP. Um, and then in my staking days, it was a simple way to make a mil an hour, maybe 1.5 mil an hour at peak times. So yeah, rune crafting's probably always been my favorite skill, if not my second favorite skill right behind Hunter. And I'm just really proud of this uh, Guardians of the Rift update because so many people got into rune crafting compared to um, ever before. I think Blood Runes was pretty uh, brilliant as well. But yeah, Guardians of the Rift, there's just nothing like it. Uh, it's awesome. It kind of reminds me of Temporos for fishing. Not trying to give Jagex uh, too much credit, but yeah, definitely two great skilling uh, things that came into the game that really gave people a lot of motivation to not only receive pets, you know, different pets that came out and also profit, but, you know, another 99 to their, uh, you know, account, which is awesome. Here we are opening another 97 rolls. As you can see before this, I did purchase the robe top. So I have everything that I need now except the lantern, which, uh, you know, the lantern can benefit you in many different ways depending on which log you decide to put in it. For me, I just went with U log. Uh, I think the reason I did that was because I compared it to the um, bonuses of all the other logs and I just felt like it was right for me. So I think this granted me more runes overall or more XP. One of the two, I, I shouldn't uh, not know this, but yeah, someone knows it in the comment section below. Either way though, the bank was stacking up pretty nicely. The only thing that I really needed for this video was earth runes, water runes, and binding necklaces. Other than that, uh, I would just use a uh, magic imbue with my rune pouch. And that was about it. So my crystal pickaxe stayed with zero charges the whole time. Definitely didn't have any problem with that. Uh, otherwise, I would have just used the dragon pickaxe, which has gone down so much, uh, not to spoil my next loot video, but I did get one today. And I think it was like 3.4 mil compared to the 7.5 mil that I remember it uh, being a couple months ago. So yeah, definitely seeing a lot of prices change in the RuneScape economy, but I don't really think about that too much. You know, I just kind of let things uh, flow the way they want to flow. And then I adapt uh, to the change. So yeah, really excited about showing you guys that loot from 1000 Calvarion. Uh, the loot is incredible, making a lot of GP these days. I think I'm going to be doing a loot from 10 hour of Armadil right after that one. And then I'll segue back into the wilderness bosses. And they are pretty lengthy videos to make. I think they're going to take me anywhere from 36 to 40 hours total, uh, depending on how many PKers I run into. Um, but I will proudly say I have not died a single time so far. And this is mainly due to the fact that I have a Karasi. Uh, that's what I call it anyway, because I mean, it is, you know, it's just got a different name to it. But yeah, I've, I've just been having so much fun in the wilderness lately. I do regret kind of doing those videos uh, after the fact. I kind of missed the week of the update hype. So I'm feeling like I'm running into less people than I would have had I started uh, much sooner. But it is what it is. I'm still uh, getting a lot of great content. So yeah, really excited. It should be like a 20 minute long video for you guys in a few days. My Iron Man recently ran out of membership. So I do have to renew him. And then I'll be finishing up that 100 of Byro Fida for you guys. You might even see that as soon as tomorrow night. So yeah, I just want to keep reassuring you guys I'm not going off the grid or anything. Definitely been a slow month, but I mean, after yesterday and today and especially tonight and tomorrow, I'll be putting in some insane hours and I'm just really excited to show you guys uh, some great content. You know, I know this is one of
one of those more so laid back videos, just kind of a skilling one. But uh, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, you guys seem to enjoy the variety. So yeah, I'll make sure to return to runecrafting probably at the very end of the month after I finish up my wilderness series and my last God Wars boss in the 10 hour series. Other than all that, not much new with me. Kind of just trying to figure out what I'm going to be doing on my Iron Man account while I'm in the wilderness for the next couple of weeks. I haven't really logged into him too much recently. So if you guys have any ideas, let me know in the comments below. I figured I'd do a little bit of a privacy this time around when I was doing the last of my searches here. And uh, yeah, you know, it's kind of leaning towards the end here. We had about five hours and 45 minutes left, 25 hours in and still no lantern, but there it is. Yeah, didn't expect to get it on the very first search, uh, but well earned, well deserved. It took a long time to get. That was 792 out of 1443 in the collection log, and now I'm officially done with Guardians of the Rift. That guy said I got spooned, but that was earned. That was definitely earned. I mean, I know people go dry for it, but uh, let me check my Guardians of the Rift kill count real quick here. What are we looking at? So 784 total Guardians of the Rift searched in this video. Uh, and then I think in the 10 hour video, I had, you know, what, like a quarter of that, 33% of that. So overall, I'd say that was earned, you know, and uh, luckily for me, I, I did light that bad boy up and I went back and I finished the rest of the five hours at maximum efficiency. I also was using a light bearer so I could keep on using my uh, dragon or my crystal pickaxe special attack. So yeah, I was having a great time. Uh, but yeah, it was overall, I was able to re reached 23 million runecrafting XP in this video. I think I did all the calculations at the end of how much XP I was averaging an hour and how much XP I gained total in this one. But uh, yeah, the amount of rifts that I have closed uh, in total is 250. And what a great ending number to uh, pretty much end the video. I don't know why I ran out of the portal here to do my ending message. I guess I'm getting shyer as the months go on, you know, it wasn't like the next video or anything. But uh, yeah, I really enjoyed this one. You know, I definitely suggest Guardians of the Rift to anyone and everyone. Not a whole lot of bots here. Definitely a whole lot of personalities, right? But uh, it was great. I really did enjoy it. So we're just going to finish this video off now with 160 more searches. Um, you know, just add more to the price check and collect some more Abyssal Pearls. Probably going to use that just to unlock one more collection log slot and then I'll just buy duplicate um, pieces of robes. But again, I'm not really returning here anytime soon. So I didn't really have any dyes to use uh, on those robe sets. I guess I'll probably just keep the basic color for now which is okay with me i really wasn't trying to go for any specific color here um but yeah this is actually the last chance we have at the pet so maybe in the next 100 searches i'll get lucky and if not well you know gotta come back here one of these days for him but again we still have um probably about three rune crafting videos left to do and then that'll probably be it for that skill uh which is kind of sad to think about you know no more rune crafting content but yeah it only goes so far i suppose so at the end of the day it's all good but yeah but before we get into the price check here, I do want to do uh, something that I haven't ever done before. And that is mainly because uh, I've never really had this enabled in my channel until about two months ago. But recently we did hit our milestone of eight members and I just want to give them all a quick shout out. Thank you for going out of your way to support the channel extra. The following people uh, who have actually done so. These being Fogolin, Straight Out the Shop, Swan Positive, Rubes, Bubba Chubba, JP Commando, Pestilence, and Pronounced Weeb. Thank you guys for, uh, you know, joining the YouTube membership. Uh, I do appreciate it. It's certainly not necessary, but it does help a lot. So yeah, thanks guys. Big shout out to you. I'll make sure to throw in a little uh, thing at the end of every video to kind of give you guys uh, some recognition. Kind of new to this still, so bear with me, but big shout out to those guys uh, for the extra support. Uh, but now with all that being said, it is time to do the price check. So we're going to go ahead and move into the first price check. This is the main one here, all the runes and the talismans. It looks good, so I, ho I hope it ends up being good. Uh, it looks like the overall loot, all right, comes out to be 18 million. Uh, I won't go ahead and round up to 18.1. We'll just call it 18 mil flat. And now we have uh, the second price check once we go ahead and open up all these intricate pouches. And you can get quite a few things from these pouches, clue scroll 
pearls, I think a few dragon items, a lot of runes, and some XP lamps and blood essence. Pretty sure I used all the XP lamps on rune crafting, because why not? You know, might, might as well fit the theme of the video here. And yeah, overall, pretty good experience. Uh, I really love these intricate pouches. Kind of reminds me of the tiny little caskets that you can get while doing Temporos. You know, always got to make a comparison when you can. But yeah, just another great benefit of doing this mini game. So the uh, overall loot from all the intricate pouches did come out to be 700k i did manage to unlock the full outfit plus a lantern and in about 30 hours time i did obtain about 1.7 million rune crafting experience really do love guardians of the rift um i can't stress how much i would suggest you guys try it out even if you are a low rune crafting level i think the only thing annoying about this game is just being able to get in you know that's about it other than that it's pretty much a breeze so yeah that is uh that's about it for this one guys hope you guys enjoy the video i should see you tomorrow night or the following night with 100 biro fida and then, ladies and gentlemen, it's going to get very exciting around here. Stay tuned for the 1,000 of all of the wilderness bosses. I got to say, I'm very proud of it. I cannot wait to show you guys it. And yeah, that's it for now, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for everything, as always. And until next time, Mr. No Sleep.